Hey, not bad. Pretty sharp bunch, aren't you? Pair of good sharp apples, the two of you. So, have we satisfied you? May we pass now? Of course you can pass. Move along, and you better make sure to give my regards to Lady Dahlia. Puzzle number six. Ooh, boy. All right, so we need to head up to Manor Road. Let's move. Wait, let's find some more coins. No more coins? Y'all ain't had no more coins for me? Oh, there's a door, which means there's a puzzle. Great. Shouldn't we be on our way to Reinhold Manor? Oh, never mind. I guess we can't go in there right now. All right, to the manor we go. Oh, look at this man. He doesn't look suspicious at all. And just who might you be? My name is Leighton, and this is my assistant. We received an invitation to visit Reinhold Manor. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> We've all been expecting you, Professor Leighton. But uh, hoo hoo. You have to excuse my skepticism. Can't trust anyone these days, you know. Well, I don't know if you were just paying attention, Ramon, but we just solved the most impossible puzzle ever. And we've gone a little bit insane, and we've only been here for an hour and 12 minutes. For all I know, you can be just another hoo 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 again in a top hat. A hoo hoo hoo. So, how do I know you're the real Leighton? Did you hear that, Professor? The nerve of this fellow. Surely you aren't going to go through this, this after an insult like that. Now, now, Luke, settle down. Sir, are you saying that you'd like to test me to see if I'm the real Professor Layton? Precisely, Professor Layton. Now, if you don't mind, would you please solve this puzzle for me? I don't know. I don't think we need to prove anything else tonight. I think we could all just go home. We want to be real about it. Number seven, wolves and chicks. I already know how this one's going to go. As soon as I saw the boat, I was like, yeah, he's going to do this puzzle. Get the three wolves and the three chicks seen below to the other side of the river while obeying the following conditions. No more than two animals can ride the raft at the same time. There must be at least one animal on the raft in order for it to move. If more wolves than chicks stay on either side of the river, the wolves will eat the chicks and you'll have to start over. You can move the raft as many times as you like, but for this feat to be accomplished in as few... But this feat can be accomplished in as few as 11 moves. Yep, I already knew this one was going to happen. As soon as I saw this man with the boat, I was like, Ramon is just the biggest jerk ever. Load animals onto the raft by dragging them over with the stylus. The raft can carry a maximum of two animals at once. When the raft holds one or more animals, slide the stylus to move it across, uh, move it to the opposite shore. The raft can't move without at least one animal on board. Got it. Okay, so we can't... If there's more wolves than chicks, the wolves will eat the chicks. So we need to make sure that whenever we move, there's never more wolves than there are chicks on whatever side we're leaving. Got it. So we can go wolf, wolf. No more than two animals can ride at the same time. Okay. So let's put this wolf back. He said as few as 11 moves. That's a lot. Let's move this chick here. And we can go. Let's see, no more than two animals. All right. No, nope, move the raft. There we go. There's one. Oh, we got to take something back. Damn it. All right. Come back with me, chick. All right. Now we could take a wolf and a chick. Let's go. Oh. Oh. We can't. It's not that we can't leave it. There can't be more at all, even if we're there. They just don't care. Okay, it's fine. As long as it didn't cost us anything, we we can do this. We can do this all day, fam. Here we go. And I got to take something back. Let's take back a chick. We can take a wolf. Matter of fact, let's take... Oh, no, we can't take all the wolves. We can't take all the wolves because we'll need to take... A wolf back. Wait. 11 moves? Excuse me? If we take this wolf by himself. 
we can't take this wolf by himself. Because we'll have to take a wolf back. So let's take these two wolves. I'll take one back. So now we can take two chicks. We can't leave a wolf. We can't leave with a chick by itself. So let's take this wolf. We take a chick as well. So that we don't go back and screw ourselves over. Now we take a wolf and a chick. Once again, we take another wolf. Oh, no, we got to take a chick. Oh, this is dumb. This is the dumbest. This is the dumbest puzzle. I'm stuck taking wolves and chicks. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, I can't do this. This is dumb. This is the worst puzzle. <laughs> This isn't even fun to solve. This was just dumb. Let's see. I can't take two wolves because... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I see it now. I see it. I don't want to take two wolves. I want to take two chicks. Because then on both sides, either there's no chicks or the chicks outnumber the wolves. Damn it. I want to take the wolf, don't I? Yeah, I want to take the wolf back. Did it. I, oh, I didn't do it in 11, but I did it. I did it in, what, 13? And I take a chick with me. Yeah, I did it in 13. That's not bad. That's not bad, you know? That was a fun one. Here's my answer. Once I figured it out, before then it was trash. Hashtag trash bag. All right. Well done. This puzzle can be solved in as few as 11 trips. I think it's because I took those two trips where I just did the same thing over and over, and that messed it up. There's some variations of this type of river crossing puzzle, and they've appeared in writings dating back to over a thousand years ago. Thanks. Thanks, Layton. <laughs> Do excuse my earlier rudeness. Let me show you the way to the manor. Everyone's waiting for you. Everyone? I was under the impression that Lady Dolly was the only person expecting me. Right this way, please. All right, seven puzzles down, and I don't feel like shooting anybody just yet. Give us some time, though. Let's head to the manor. Let's head to the manor. Is this the manor, Professor? It's positively gigantic. Just look at the size of it. It certainly seems like we've come to the right place. Chapter's done. Done. Let's kill two chapters. We can kill two chapters a day. The professor and Luke finally arrive at Reinhold Manor. Let's head in, shall we? Yes, sir. All right, let's head for the manor. But first, we got to shake some trees for some coins. The garden's big, but there's not much to look at here. Listen, I ain't ask you. I ain't wow, can you imagine living in such a massive place? Didn't ask you, little man. man. Let's save. Let's save, because if I have to redo any of this, I'm going to be hot. I'm going to be hot. All right, we're an hour and nine minutes in. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, looks like there's no hidden coins. It'll be all right. Let's move. Look at this man. Welcome to Reinhold Manor. Thank you for coming. I am Matthew, butler and servant to the Reinhold family. Everyone is waiting upstairs for you. Matthew doesn't open his teeth when he talks. Ah, but before you go, I have a lady from a message from Lady Dahlia. She has requested that you take a look at this puzzle. Please do not be taken aback. Madam has the strangest sense of propriety sometimes. Here we go. To move a match, hold it by its center and drag it. To rotate a... M oh, no. A match puzzle? I hate match puzzles more than I hate weight puzzles. To rotate a match, touch one of its ends and drag it. Go on, try moving the match. So this is moving the match. 
and then uh, rotating the match. Hold it by its end and drag it. This is this is gonna be the least fun. There's fun, then there's homework, then there's this. All right, number nine. One poor pooch. Did we skip a puzzle? I think we skipped eight. Yeah, I think we skipped eight. It's worth 35 picarats. The matches below are arranged in the shape of a dog. This poor little guy was just minding his own business when a car came barreling down the road and ran him over. How lovely. Move the two matches, or move two matches to change the picture so that it shows the dog after the accident. All puzzles are a matter of perspective, so don't assume that you'll be looking at the dog from the side by the time you're finished with this one. Move two matches to change the picture so that it shows the dog after the accident. What the hell? I hate match puzzles. I've never liked match puzzles. Move two matches to change the picture so that it shows the dog after the accident. What? The dog after the accident. What kind of trick ass question? It shows the dog after the accident. The dog after the accident. Oh man, I don't get it. I'm I'm in, I'm not sure. W what the hell? Give me a hint. Give me a hint. The original shape shows the dog walking. Think about how that shape will change after the dog gets hit by the car. Well, it's going to be stretched out on the ground. Move two matches to show the dog after the accident. <sighs> Move two matches to show the dog after the accident. So what I'm thinking, okay. So this is the dog now. I'm thinking the dog's gonna be like that. Give me a hit, give me a hit, this is madness. Dogs walk on all four legs, but since this poor pooch isn't doing much walking anymore, the position of the legs must have changed. I'm only supposed to move two? Okay. So I was joking about the whole... Oh! Okay. I was going to say, so the moves... The moves, rotating and moving counters, two different ones. No, never mind. Okay. So this leg's gonna be like that. <laughs> this is dark. This is pretty dark. And this leg's gonna be like that. Is that, does this look like a dog that got ran over? That's what it looks like to me. I know it's gonna be wrong. He's gonna take away points. I know it. Yep, knew it. Oh, how embarrassing. All right, I need a hint. I need a hint. Give me this last hint. The dog probably sprawled out on the pavement where it got hit to show that you'll need to move two of his legs or two matches. Take the two in the middle and bring him a butt. Oh, no. I get it now. I get it now. Okay, so what we're looking at right here. It's worth 31 now because we got it wrong. What we're looking at right here is the dog. Okay, so um, like the perspective you're looking at me right now is the perspective that we're looking at the dog, okay? Once I move the two matches, now you're looking at a top down of the dog. Now you're looking like if we were flying in a helicopter and we saw a car barreling down the road hit this dog, now we're looking at the dog for the helicopter. 
I hate I hate match puzzles. Now he's he's monked up. He is all the way monked up right here. I hate match puzzles. That's not fun. Should do it. It's not fun. Every is, puzzle has an answer. Every puzzle is stupid. See, there we go. Perspective. That's exactly what he was talking about. The first dog was a side view. The second one is top down. He pulled that in in Leighton versus Wright too, and it was maddening then. That that oh, that's absolutely correct. My commendation, sir. Again, I do apologize for the strangeness of the request. Now, please walk this way. We mustn't keep Lady Dolly and her company waiting. I hate. I hate. I'm gonna review every puzzle. I'm gonna review every puzzle. That one gets a thumbs down. <laughs> That one gets a thumbs down. There's a coin. Let's see what we can. Oh, oh, we're going to have a puzzle about the paintings next. Professor, look at these paintings on the wall here. Look at this man. It's a very nice portrait, isn't it? I bet that's the late Baron Reinhold picture there. But what about this one, Professor? Who could this pretty girl be? The two portraits are next to each other, so they're likely family. She's probably the Baron's daughter. That's exactly right. Oh, that's exactly right, sir. You are looking at a portrait of Flora, the late Baron's daughter. Pardon me for asking, but I couldn't help but notice your keen interest in art. Would you care to take a look? Take this old frame with you. You used to hold the most wonderful painting. However, now all this left of this small scrap. We found a painting scrap. Uh, the painting options may add to the trunk. You can assemble the fragments of the old painting here. Now he says the painting, touch the trunk to open it, then tap the painting icon. So this is a piece of that old painting then. How interesting. All right, let's, let's progress. I guess they're gonna want us to, um, I guess they're gonna want us to find painting pictures or painting fragments. Throughout the course of the game, which is dope. It's pretty dope. <sighs> oh, you must be Professor Layton, I presume. It's an honor to make your acquaintance. Oh, no. The pleasure's all mine. Honestly, why am I constantly surrounded by incompetence? This is a disaster. Whatever is the matter? Oh, this is simply terrible. My dear sweet baby, my Claudia. Your Claudia? Sweet, sweet Claudia. My little honeykins. My smoochy pie. My baby. Matthew. Matthew. Uh, do we need to talk to Matthew? Madam, oh, madam, what is it? What in the world happened? My little Claudia got scared and ran off. Didn't you see her dart out of the room? I, I must have missed her. I'm terribly sorry, madam. Oh, you're just useless, aren't you? Professor, you didn't see which way my baby ran off to, did you? Your baby, madam? If you are referring to that white cat, I saw it run out the door a moment ago. What? And you simply stood there and let her escape? Well, she is a cat. They are animals, after all, and animals must run about from time to... You fool! She is not just a cat. She has a name, and that name is Claudia Reinhold. She is a delicate flower, and she is simply a mess when I'm not close by to comfort her. Matthew, I need you to find Claudia and bring her back immediately. About... oh, about this little inheritance problem of yours, Lady Dahlia. That can wait. Can't you see that we have a more pressing concern on our hands at the moment? You could have stopped her and you didn't. So you have a responsibility to find Claudia and bring her back. Hmm. Sending the professor off to find a silly cat. The nerve. Who do you think you are? Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, it's fine, Luke. 
Besides, Lady Dahlia does have a point. It does seem we let Claudia run off. Madam, if you excuse us, we have a cat to track down. Thank you, and please hurry. My Claudia is such a delicate flower. Even the coarse outdoor air might prove too much for her. No way that the manor was added to your list of mysteries. I guess that's like a list of stuff to look at in the event that we need to figure out what we need to be doing. The Fugitive Feline, Chapter 2. Lady Dahlia's cat has escaped. Search St. Mysterio for the runaway feline. Save your progress? Of course. Of course we're saving our progress. Here we go. Oop. Yeah, it turns out we did skip a puzzle. We skipped number eight, whatever eight is. All right, so let's go find Claudia. Oh, Professor, there's still someone over there you haven't spoke to yet. Oh, I guess we can't leave till we talk to these people. Let's talk to this guy with the glasses. He gives us a puzzle. If we just meet him and he gives us a puzzle, I'm fighting him. The name's Simon. I'm Baron Reinhold's nephew. My father is the little brother of Gordon there. Or rather, he was until he kicked the bucket, as they say. But I digress. You're the famous Professor Layton. Hmm, I thought you'd have more presents. Well, never mind that. I take it you wouldn't mind if I throw a puzzle your way. Are right, we gonna catch Simon in the, in the back corner. It shouldn't prove difficult for a man of your ability. Yes, if you're as good as they say, this shouldn't amount to much more than a distraction. All right, here we go with this nonsense. Arc and line is worth 20 picarets. Oh, this is real math. The fake math before was fun, but this is real math. Okay. As shown in the diagram below, you have one fourth of a circle. Within the circle is rectangle A, B, C, D, which touches the edge of the circle at point D. Assuming that point B is located at the center of the circle, how long is diagonal line AC? Okay. Here we go. Okay. So if B, if BC is five inches, Assuming that B is at the center of the circle. If BC is five inches. Dang. This one's this one's real math. I'm not ready. For, this is like geometry. Geometry's not my not my stuff. BC and A D are the same length. I don't think that matters, but they are. A B and C D are also the same length. We're looking for how long AC is. If we know that BC and AD are the same length. Wow, this is real. This is real world math. Okay, here we go. BC is five inches. So that means AD is also five inches. Hang on, hang on, I think I can actually do this one. Okay, so we're looking at this rectangle and we wanna know how long the diagonal across it is. The diagonal of AC. If we know that this is five, if we know that this is five. So we have 2x plus 2y equals the perimeter. I'm going, I'm going off the far end. I know I am, and that's okay. 2x plus 2 times 5 is perimeter. The 2x plus 10 is the perimeter. D touches the edge of the circle. Assuming that B is at the center of the circle, how long is AC? So if we take this rectangle and flip it over. Hmm. My, 
brain is not ready for this kind of math. I'm a logic math person, not not a, a functional math. Let's see. Let's look at this logically, though. B to C is five inches. So A to D is five inches. Assuming that B is located at the center of the circle. If B is at the center of the circle, that means it can go over twice. We can use that twice. Let's see if we can use that twice. So if we got this, B, C, A, D, that means it also exists this way and that is the same. That's also the same right there. So then we know that the circle is 10, has a 10 inch radius. Will that take me somewhere? If we know that the circle has a 10 inch radius, 20 inches in diameter. I, j I feel like pressing the hint button is gonna tell me something that I know because we are so far eight for eight on getting hints that I already knew. If I want to find AC, how long is diagonal line AC? And I know that it's a diameter of six. I'm sorry, of 10. Radius of 10. I know that from B to the top of the circle is also 10. Damn, damn, this is not fun. <laughs> this is not fun. I'm missing something. I know I'm missing something. Okay, let's blow some more hints. Let's do this. Surely somebody must look at the diagram and realize that the triangle formed by AB is yeah, a right angle. Oh, oh, yeah. I just need to say it out loud to figure that out. So if that's a right angle, I need to go back and look before I look at the rest of this. If that's a right angle, and this is the short side, eh, it doesn't have to be 30, 60. It doesn't have to be 30, 60. That's a sharp thing. That sharp thing is exactly right. However, are you sure there isn't much a, a much easier way to find the answer? See, as it told me anything, it did again. It didn't tell me anything that I actually needed. We know that's the center of the circle. We know that B's at the center of the circle. Have I not gone all the way? What I have so far is I drew the I drew the rectangle. Let's see. You can see it there. I drew the rectangle and I flipped it over. Because if B is the center of the circle, then we can flip it over and get half of the circle. Because so far we only have a fourth. But I'm looking for A to C. I'm looking for A to C. Yeah, this is not my math. Hashtag not my math. Ah, give me another hint. Give me an, give me a hint that matters. You don't need the Pythagorean theorem to answer this one. Someone else in the diagram. Should be the exact same length as AC, right? BD is the same length of a as AC. We all know what that is, though. You dumb. You'll need the Pythagorean theorem to answer this one. Something else in the diagram should be the exact same length as AC. BD. Oh, hang on. If B to C, B to C is five, so A to D is five.
A D A B can't be ten inches. It's smaller than ten inches. Otherwise, A would be all the way up here. So A has to be longer than five inches, but shorter than ten. This is halfway. Nah, this is not my math. Let's try it. Let's hint me up, baby. Notice that the diagonal line within AC is the same as BD. So all three hints are telling me stuff that I know. Have you also noticed that BD is also the same length as another part of the diagram? BD. Oh. I see it now. If B, B to D is from B to the outside of the circle. So that means D can literally be on any point of the circle. So if we know how long the radius is, we know how long BD is. And once we know how long BD is, we know how long AC is. This is not math. <laughs> it's 10 inches. This is not math. This is not math. That was dumb. Another puzzle solved. Thumbs down. I give it. <laughs> that wasn't bad. That I I should have logic that one. I should have logic that one. Diagonal line AC is the exact same length as BD. BD is the same as the radius of the circle. I even said that. B I even said the radius is 10 inches. Damn. <laughs> Damn it. All right. This video was part of a stream. If you want to catch our streams live, make sure you subscribe to AltPlay as well as turn on notifications and follow at the AltPlay on Twitter. That way you can stay up to date on all changes.